Welcome to Mystic Realms Recap. Links are in the description below. Please show some love of the author and me. On to the show, Longing Fleet? Never heard of it, where did the small fleet come from? Even a well-informed person like me has never heard of it, it's probably the fleet that came out of that small corner. President, what's the matter? If this small fleet provokes you, just one of us will be able to turn him into scrap metal. That's right, a small fleet with little reputation can't bother you with your old hands. Many branch presidents were also filled with righteous indignation and expressed their desire to share the troubles for Otto. Seeing the excited appearances of many branch presidents, a sarcastic smile appeared on Otto's face. Immediately afterwards, he threw the information of the longing fleet to many branch leaders. Many branch presidents also checked the information of the longing fleet. Hiss. Immediately after that, there was a series of voices that sucked in the cold air. The longing fleet was founded in the financial star of the Golden Galaxy. The captain of its fleet is a blue star human named Su Yen, this blue star human is not easy to see. After his debut, he participated in the large-scale battle of the Silver Light Galaxy, and later he also saved the financial star from the Zerg. After that, it went all the way, and became famous in the Wasteland Star under the Western Union. Then, at the Seven Star Auction, I met Yi Huang, the head of the Seven Star Chamber of Commerce and the God Ghost Mercenary Group. 060. This small fleet of less than a hundred is backed by the Jean Clan and the Seven Star Chamber of Commerce. At the same time, he also has a close relationship with the God and Ghost Mercenary Group of the Heavenly King level forces. Most importantly, because of his achievements, not only did he wipe out the Zerg, but he also repeatedly destroyed the Iron Man's plan. Even the ancient empire was full of curiosity about this blue star human. The Libra Empire also deliberately contacted him, and also became the debt collector of the Libra Empire. They can't ignore this relationship. After reading the information, Orc Otto also showed a sarcastic smile. Didn't you say you were going to crush him at will? Why are you silent now? All the branch presidents did not dare to say a word, and they had long since lost their high spirits. What are you kidding? How could this small fleet have such a large amount of energy? The ancient empire, two heavenly king-level forces, and two huge financial groups are all related to him. Is such a luxurious interpersonal network really what a small fleet can have? Seeing that his subordinates were silent, the orc Otto snorted coldly. According to the information I have obtained, this longing fleet has two SS-class ships, one of the ships has the ability to jump in space, and the firepower of the main gun is extremely powerful. This ship is the biggest threat to us, and the power of its main gun can be said that none of the ships under your command can resist more than three times. Moreover, its jumping ability is even more terrifying. Until now, I haven't thought of any way to deal with this ship. Is this the deterrent power of SS-class ships? The surrounding branch presidents are also tight in their hearts, they can jump infinitely, and they also have powerful main guns, they are also afraid of such ships. Seeing that his subordinates were silent, the orc Otto also hated iron. However, the only good news now is that the number of fleets under their command far exceeds that of the crazy shark pirates. Their odds are still high. Next, regarding the intelligence collection work, it will be handed over to Enlio. This time, in addition to the information of the various units of the Crazy Shark Pirates, I also want the information of the Longing Fleet. And at this time, among the branch presidents, the Thin Orc branch president also stood up. The Orc Enluo also took over the task of collecting information. At the same time, he is also very curious about this guy named Su Yen. Ordinary forces, even in the Inland Sea, are not easy to get a SS-class ship. Today, the existence of SS-class ships can be said to be rare in the Inland Sea. Most of the SS-class ships were repaired from the wreckage found in ancient battlefields by various forces. Or, by continuously upgrading S-class ships, they can be promoted to SS-class ships. But this method can be said to be difficult to reach the sky. In the eyes of ordinary people, the extremely rare SS-class ships, there are actually two ships under the command of Su Yan's Blue Star humans. If it hadn't been said by Otto himself, 
he would have had a hard time believing the authenticity of this information. The other branch leaders were also assigned tasks by Orc Auto. Some are responsible for intelligence gathering, and some are responsible for maintaining all the ships of the Brotherhood. And some orcs need to buy a lot of ammunition, so as to avoid the shortage of ammunition during the battle. The battle between the two Heavenly King level forces can be as little as a month or as many as several years. If there is a logistical problem, it is a very fatal problem. Just when the orcs started to prepare for the war, the mermaids were also preparing. On Poseidon, Lin Qingyue was also holding a stack of bills, frowning slightly. Is this all the merfolk stockpile? 99, that's right, over the years our crazy shark pirates have been in the mode of fighting to support the war, and we have relatively little inventory. Hales was also a little helpless, as the shark pirates looted everywhere. Although there was a lot of wealth, the ammunition inventory was pitiful. Moreover, most of these wealth were distributed to the many people of the mermaid tribe. Now that the mermaid clan has developed to such a prosperous appearance, it is inseparable from the provisions of the crazy shark pirates. Looking at the bill in front of him, Lin Qingyue also sighed. No, the inventory is too small, even if it is calculated according to the one-month war cycle, it is still too small. Now, we'd better buy ammunition from the major chambers of commerce in the inland sea immediately. But from the current point of view, once the major chambers of commerce realize that the crazy shark pirates and the Brotherhood are about to go to war, they will definitely raise prices wildly. This time is a fatal blow for us. Hearing this, Hylis frowned. This is indeed a problem, after all these chambers of commerce are mercenary. Once the war news is received, the price of combat readiness resources will be wildly increased. Su Yan next to him touched his chin and said indifferently, no matter how high the price is, the ammunition store must be filled up. If there is not enough ammo, how can we win this battle? Su Yan also did not expect that the mermaid tribe's resource reserves for combat readiness were so scarce. But he is also very clear that if it wasn't for his participation, the mermaid tribe could have avoided this war. Thinking of this, Su Yen also took out his Starcoin card. I still have tens of billions of Starcoins here, maybe I can buy some ammunition. But even if all the Starcoins are spent, the ammunition purchased is limited. This battle must be fought quickly, the longer it drags on, the worse it will be for us. Hales also nodded, expressing understanding. But at this moment, several streamers appeared above the sky. Immediately afterwards, a huge ship, composed of thousands of ships also appeared in the outer space of Poseidon. Seeing these ships with the logo of the crazy shark pirates, Hylis also had a hint of joy in her eyes. It's the ships of the first and second squadrons, these two guys are the first to come back every time. In outer space, Hai Wenqing and Hai Wentian were on the bridge of the flagship, and they were also looking at each other's flagship. Hai Wendian was also the first to speak. Second sister, this time my ship is the first to end the space transition state, so I should be the first to arrive at Sea God. Facing Hai Wentian's words, Hai Wenqing closed his eyes tightly and answered unhurriedly. It seems to be at the same time, but in fact, you are 0.1 second less than me when I ended the space transition state. Don't question me, my perception of space is much stronger than that. After Hai Wentian heard these words, he was immediately blown away. It's this excuse every time, can't we just get a new one? Cannot. Chuan next to him looked at the two siblings, who were bickering, and also smiled wryly. Their captains are good in everything, but once they meet, they will inevitably have children's bickering. Over time, the crews of both sides became accustomed to it. As soon as their captain encounters something about Hales, his IQ plummets. At this time, Hai Wentian suddenly spoke up. Then next, let's compare, who is the first to reach the surface, to see Sister Hylis. As soon as the words fell, Hai Wentian also directly drove the spaceship toward the surface of Sea God Star. Hai Wenqing in the bridge also slightly raised the corner of his mouth. The next second, she disappeared directly in place. The surrounding crew members also sighed silently when they saw the scene. Alas, the captain of the second team is playing against our captain again. Forget it, let them go, both of their siblings are like this, 
and only the eldest sister of the home team can control them both. All ships began to stand by and wait for the next instruction. On the ground, Hywin also landed directly on the sea while driving the spacecraft for 2.6 days. Boom! The spaceship plunged straight into the sea, and then slowly surfaced. The next second, Hai Wendian jumped out of the spaceship. Woohoo, I'm number one. Brush. Immediately afterwards, Hai Wenxing also appeared out of thin air and slowly landed next to Hai Wendian. Hai Wenxing's eyes were tightly closed, and he also smiled faintly. Don't you know that I am a space system psionicist, this kind of trick can't deceive me. Hearing this sentence, Hai Wendian also snorted coldly. At this moment, a familiar voice also fell into the ears of the two. Wen Xing, Wendian, you two are back. Hearing this familiar voice, Hai Wenxing also opened his eyes. Hai Wendian looked at Hai Li's, who was standing on the Hyperion not far away, and jumped over directly. Long time no see, sister. Sister, we are back. Hylis looked at Hai Wendian and jumped directly over, and also took a step forward. I saw Hylis rubbing Hei Wenchen's head, you kid, you are still so rash, learn more about Wenxing. At this time, after Hei Wenxing used space teleportation to come to Hylis, he also noticed Su Yen not far away, sister, this is. Seeing Hei Wenxing's eyes on Su Yen, Hylis also hurriedly introduced it. This is Mr. Su Yen, our ally. 35, ally? Hearing this sentence, Hai Wentian's eyes also became very sharp. His gaze was like a scanner, scanning Su Yan's body. After a long time, a trace of disdain appeared on Hai Wentian's face. Then dare to ask, which fleet your excellency belongs to? How big is the fleet under your command? Our crazy shark pirates are a king level force, with thousands of ships. Not all cats and dogs can act as our allies. Before she finished speaking, Haile slapped Hai Wentian's head. Hai Wentian covered his head and instantly became aggrieved. Immediately afterwards, Haile also said sharply, Ask heaven, don't be rude to Mr. Su Yen. Mr. Su Yen is our merman savior. While you were wandering other galaxies, the orc Otto stole the ocean core of our merfolk. If it wasn't for Mr. Su Yen's help, you probably wouldn't have seen the mermaid imperial city now. Mr. Su Yen has a life-saving grace for us mermaid, you can't be rude to Mr. Su Yen. Speaking of this, there was also a hint of anger in Hai Li's eyes. After seeing the anger in Hai Li's eyes, Hai Wendian also panicked. Afterwards, Hai Wendian also quickly apologized to Su Yen. I'm sorry, Mr. Su Yen, 31, I didn't know you had such a great affection for us mermaid. 35, am I being rude? I apologize to you. Hai Wenqing next to him looked at Hai Wentian and apologized to Su Yen, while Su also waved his hand to show that he didn't take it to heart. Hai Li's also talked to Hai Wentian and Hai Wenqing about the cause of the war. When he heard the orc Orto threatened Hai Li's with the ocean core, blue veins burst out of Hai Wentian's forehead. Those damned orcs actually did such a thing while I wasn't on Sea God. What about the traitor? It's hard to understand the hatred in my heart if I don't torture him to death. At this moment, Hai Wendian can't wait to drive his own ship directly, rush directly to the headquarters of the Brotherhood, and pull out the Orc Auto to pieces. Hearing this, even the better-tempered Hai Wenqing frowned slightly. Unexpectedly, this kind of thing happened when they were not on Sea God Star. At that time, it is estimated that even if they knew, they would not be able to rush back in the first time. Hai Wenxing also looked towards Su Yen. At this time, Hai Wenxing actually opened his eyes. A special psychic aura belonging to the Meizu also instantly enveloped Su Yen. And Su Yen looked at Hai Wenxing, there was nothing unusual. What are you kidding? Before, he was often tempted by Mei Xue, a pure-blooded Meizu, and he had long forged a powerful spiritual power. Su Yen also directly opened his psychic barrier. There was also a flash of surprise in Hai Wenqing's eyes on the opposite side. At first, she thought that her Meizu bloodline was invalid for Su Yen. But now it seems that Su Yen is not affected by his Meizu bloodline at all. He could even detect it and respond to his own psychic breath. 
For a time, Hai Wenqing could not help but walk in a few steps. For the first time since she was born, someone could look her in the eye. But before she could take a few steps, Hai Li's also grabbed her shoulder. Wen Xing, what are you doing? Hearing Hai Li's voice, Hai Wenqing also stopped. Afterwards, Hai Wenqing also closed his eyes. Looking at his younger brother and younger sister, he also tested Su Yan one after another. Even Haley's couldn't stand it anymore. You too, Su Yan, is our merman savior. You are usually outside, no matter what it looks like, but you must be respectful when facing Su Yan. Put away your little actions, do you really think I can't see it? When she said this, Haile's tone also had a hint of sternness. Hai Wenqing and Hai Wendian were like children who made mistakes, obediently admitting their mistakes. Immediately afterwards, Haley's also looked at Su Yen. Looks like the rest of our shark pirates are about to come back. 35. The orcs are probably almost ready, and we must purchase enough combat reserves as soon as possible. 99. Having said that, Hai Wendian also quickly stood up. You don't have to worry about ammunition and combat readiness resources, sister. 35. Our second detachment just grabbed a few merchant ships, and these materials are enough for us to fight. 35. Before Hai Wendian could finish speaking, Hai Wenqing also raised his hand. I also have a lot of supplies here, if you count them, maybe they can come in handy. Um? After hearing these two sentences, Hai Li's eyes lit up. She thought that the first and second detachments had no fighting supplies. Who knows, these two fleets have just attacked the caravan, and they are fully prepared. Hailey's also asked the two fleets to concentrate all combat readiness resources. After a period of time, they also concentrated all their combat readiness resources. Su Yan looked at the resources in front of him and was a little surprised. The resources on these two ships are actually so abundant. Seeing this scene, Hailey's also showed a smile. Great. This time the situation of combat readiness resources is also solved. The problem of resources has been solved, and the next problem is the allocation of the fleet. 35. Speaking of this, Hailey's also looked at Hai Wendian. In terms of tactics, Hai Wentian's talent was definitely much stronger than Hailey's. Otherwise, his second detachment would not be called the sharp teeth of the crazy shark pirates. It can be said that Hai Wentian's command must be indispensable for the second unit to have the scale it is today. Hai Wentian also smiled and then opened his mouth. According to my information line, the ten branch presidents of the Brotherhood have now all gathered around the Orc Auto. If you want me to say, the ten branch presidents of the Orc Brotherhood are all scumbags, and none of them can fight, but pull them out and I can blow them all up by myself. However, they have an advantage that we don't have, 99. Number of ships. That's right. 10 branch presidents, each with more than 2,000 ships. In other words, all of them add up to more than 20,000 ships. But of all the fleets of the Mad Shark Pirates, most of the fleets are only about a thousand or so. Even, the weakest 10th team, because it was just established, the number of ships is only 500. So the 10th team is also the weakest of all the teams, all the ships of the Crazy Shark Pirate Squad added up to only about 10,000 ships. Although 10,000 ships are enough to destroy the civilization of a planet, it is still not enough to see in front of the Brotherhood. The bad news is that we have far fewer ships than the other side. But the good news is that the first and second divisions, plus the home team's flagship, we have three S-class ships here. 99. Also, the quality of our shark pirates is much better than those of the Brotherhood. Speaking of which, Hai Wendian also shared the strengths and weaknesses of the Crazy Shark Pirates and the Orc Brotherhood. Crazy Shark Pirates wins because they have enough high-end combat power, three S-class ships. The Orc Brotherhood has nearly twice as many ships, but one S-class ship. Both sides have their own advantages, one in high-end combat power and the other in the number of ships. So, in this battle with the Brotherhood, we try to stretch the front line as much as possible. Better to create a fleet one-on-one -on -one environment, and at this time, Haley's came over. We have more than three S-class ships here. 
Hearing this sentence, Hai Wintian's first reaction was, could it be that while she was away from Poseidon, Haile's got a brand new S-Class ship? If so, then great. The more S-Class ships, the more powerful the top combat power. But at this time, Haile set her sights on Su Yen. The Longing fleet under Su Yen has two SS-Class ships, and most of his ships are A-Class ships. SS-Class ships? Or two? At this time, even Hai Wentian looked at Su Yen in surprise, and Su Yen also said lightly, at our feet, is my flagship, Hyperion. What? At this time, Hai Wen Kai discovered the Hyperion at his feet. At first, he thought it was just an ordinary ship used as a pedal. Unexpectedly, this is actually an SS-class ship? I have never seen the existence of SS-class ships in the Inland Sea. Now, this SS-class ship is at his feet? You actually have an SS-class ship? At this time, Hai Wenqing opened his eyes, and his eyes were full of surprise. Hai Wenqing next to him was also a little surprised. At first, he thought that the Longing fleet under Su Yen was an unknown fleet. But I never imagined that this fleet actually has two SS-class ships. He didn't have the slightest doubt when this sentence came out of Hai Li's mouth. Two SS-class ships? How is the combat capability of your SS-class ship? This question is also what Hai Wendian is most concerned about. But facing this question, Su Yen also scratched his head, how should he describe it? The enemies that the Hyperion has encountered so far, basically no one can resist its blow. He also didn't know how powerful the Hyperion was. And at this time, Hai Wendian suddenly spoke up. In that case, can your ship compete with my second unit? Of course, it's just an exercise, and we'll all show mercy, mainly because I haven't seen a real SS-class ship. I'm curious, what exactly is the combat capability of the SS-class ships? Speaking of which, Hai Wendian also looked eager to try, exercise? This is the first time Su Yen has heard this term, but he has never heard that there can still be exercises between fleets. The general fleet wants to grow up, very simple. Suppress the bandits. Against the interstellar pirates, against the Zerg Iron Man. If you can survive, naturally, you can become a strong man. Of course, if you don't survive, you can only be eliminated. Since Su Yen stepped into Xinghai, he has crushed his opponent all the way without giving him the slightest chance to breathe. He had never heard of such a thing as an exercise. And at this time, Hailey's also stood up. Okay, Wendian, it's better to practice this kind of thing. But Hai Wendian, who had always been obedient to Hailey's, was very insistent at this moment. His eyes were shining, and he was also staring at the Hyperion at Su's feet. SS class ships, this is the class of ships that can only be heard in rumors. Unexpectedly, I actually saw a real SS class ship. Hai Wendian also looked at Hailey's and found a very reasonable reason for himself. Sister, if I don't understand the performance of the SS-class ship now, it will be difficult for me to arrange its position on the battlefield. After all, the combat power of SS-class ships is rumored to be comparable to a fleet. But I haven't seen it before, I don't know the true strength of the SS-class ship, and its performance can only be tested through combat. Of course, sister, you don't have to worry, I will definitely stay with you when the time comes. Speaking of this, Hai Wendian also looked at Su Yen. At this time, as long as Su Yen agrees, it will be fine. Seeing Su Yan's hesitant expression, Hai Wendian was also afraid that Su Yen would refuse, and hurriedly added. Brother Su Yen, don't worry. At that time, we just need to test your ship's defense and attack power. These are very quick tests, and we'll be merciful when the time comes. Seeing that Hai Wendian insisted so much, Su Yen also sighed. Looking at his appearance, if he didn't agree, he would be a little timid. To be honest, the reason for Su Yan's hesitation is simple. He was afraid that the power of his Yamato cannon would be too strong for the opposing ships to resist. A cannon shot through the opposite ship, this kind of behavior is not very good. This is the only reason he is worried, as for the fire attack from the opposite side? Su Yan doesn't have to worry at all, no matter how powerful their artillery fire is, 
what can they do in the face of the Hyperion's multiple space jumps? As for the Spear of Aden, the Spear of Aden is a powerful ship that can defeat a fleet alone. Their attack, it is estimated that even the defense of Aden's spear is difficult to break. Unless it is the crazy shark pirates, all the teams will focus on Aden's spear to break through the defense of Aden's spear. Moreover, in addition to the original powerful energy shield, the current Aden spear is also equipped with a void shield, and its defense is even higher. Moreover, Aden's spear now has the powerful attack method of Sun Ray. Whether in space or in ground support, the power of solar rays is beyond doubt. After thinking for a moment, Su Yen also came up with a way to get the best of both worlds. Fine. Hearing Su Yan's homonym, Hai Wendian, was also ecstatic. For a fighting maniac like him, SS-class ships are like artifacts to him. Now, he is also very excited to finally be able to see the true combat power of SS-class ships. And Hai Wenqing next to him glanced at Su Yen, she was also a little curious, what kind of ability this SS-class ship has. From the outside, this SS-class ship is no different from an ordinary ship. Now, only to see the performance of the two. Seeing that Su Yen agreed, Hailees did not stop her. She also wanted to know what abilities the Hyperion had gained after being upgraded to an SS-class ship. When she first saw the Hyperion, she had seen the powerful firepower when it was still an S-Class. Now, after being upgraded to an SS-Class ship, its firepower must have been greatly improved. The two also returned to their respective flagships, and Hailees and Haywinksing also returned to their own flagships. After returning to the flagship of the 2nd Division, Hai Wendian also went straight to the bridge. Seeing Hai Wintian's return, many crew members were also very curious. Captain, why are you back? That's right, Captain, is there any important thing for you to come back? The goods have all been transported to the surface, is there anything left? If there is anything left, you can just tell us directly with the communication device. Seeing Hai Wintian hurried over, the crew thought they had done something wrong. But upon closer inspection, the sharp-eyed crew found clues. Right now, Hai Wendian looked excited, not at all unhappy. It seemed that he didn't come back to blame them. What is that for? Notify all ships and prepare for battle. Ready for battle? Isn't this near the home planet of the mermaid, Neptune? To put them into combat mode, who to deal with? It can't be an invasion of Neptune. Numerous crew members were just stunned for a moment, and quickly entered the working state. No matter what questions they have about this request, but now they, as the crew, should implement the captain's order as soon as possible. Next, we will have a drill. And our opponent is an SS-class ship. Yes, you heard it right, our target is an SS-class ship. So it's all cheering me up now. SS-class ships? All the crew members of the second detachment all pricked up their ears for a while. And Hai Wendian also said carelessly, this time, we have two SS-class ships on our side. But before the actual battle, I want to see what the strength of the SS-class ships is. Before Hai Wendian could finish speaking, the crew under his command couldn't help but speak. Don't say you want to see the strength of the SS-class ships, we want to see too. That's right. I've been in the inland sea for so many years, I've only heard of SS-class ships, but I've never seen SS-class ships. Don't be too careless, there are SS-class ships on the opposite side, it would be embarrassing if we were bombed. If you practice, you shouldn't be too serious. But at this time, Su Yen also entered the communication channel of the second team. After Su Yen came in, he also spoke directly. Next, you can just treat me as an enemy. You only need to knock down one of my shields, and you will win. Of course, I will be merciful." Hearing this sentence, Hai Wendian was also a little unconvinced. Their second detachment has a scale of thousands of ships, even SS-class ships, it is difficult to survive under the concentrated fire of so many ships. At first, I thought that Su Yen was afraid of being defeated by the second team, so he did not dare to agree. But now it seems that they think too much. Brother Su Yen, our second division is not an ordinary fleet. If you are careless, you will suffer a great loss. 
Even if you are an SS-class ship, it is hard to resist under the concentrated fire of a thousand ships. At this time, Hai Wintian's competitive spirit was also hooked up. But what Su Yen said next made Hai Wintian explode. You can meet me first. As soon as these words came out, let alone Hai Wintian, even the crew members of the second detachment couldn't take it anymore. Good guy. The guy on the opposite side is too arrogant. Hai Wenqing, who was watching the battle in the communication channel, couldn't believe it after hearing Su Yan's speech. She did not expect that Su Yan's speech would be so explosive. If it was her, this sentence would be a huge challenge when it fell into her ears. How could the hot-tempered Hai Wendian endure this, and directly announce the start of the battle? Hei Wengxing quietly asked Hai Li's, sister, this human named Su Yan, has he always been so arrogant? Hearing this sentence, Hai Li smiled faintly. Arrogant? What arrogance? He's telling the truth. That's right, Halley's knew that the Hyperion had the magical skill of space transition. In the state of space transition, who can meet Su Yan? But Hai Wentian didn't know, and neither did his crew. Su Yan's words also aroused their competitiveness, watching Su Yan's Hyperion slowly appear in outer space. Hai Wentian is also the commander of his subordinate's fleet. Aim at the opposite ship, by the way, only, Zhao Zhao, must have one-tenth of the ships to attack. Having said that, the ships under his command also aimed at Su Yan decisively. In the next second, a hundred ships directly focused on the Hyperion. But under the blessing of the Void Shield, these artillery fires disappeared like mud oxen into the sea. Seeing this scene, Hai Wentian also showed a smile. Not bad. Kind of interesting. But at this time, Su Yan's voice sounded again in the communication channel. It is recommended that you turn on all your firepower, otherwise I won't even need to counterattack. In that case, pay attention over there. Immediately afterwards, Hai Wendian directed all the ships to aim at Su Yan. A thousand ships focus on Su Yan's Hyperion at the same time. Such firepower is enough to raise a planet to the ground. Fire. Rumbling. For a time, the flames splashed and lit up one after another like firecrackers. The dense artillery fire hit Su Yan's Hyperion directly like a torrential rain. But at this time, Hai Wendian discovered that something was wrong. What happened? Why didn't Su Yan run away? And Su Yan stood in the middle of the bridge, looking at the incoming artillery fire in front of him, showing a smile. As I said, it's not that easy to meet me. Emperor, start the space transition. Yes, sister, why didn't he run away? Seeing Su Yan's ship standing still, Hai Wenqing's expression changed. That is the concentrated fire attack of a thousand ships, even SS-class ships can't stop the concentrated fire of so many ships. At this time, even Hailey's couldn't help but feel nervous. What's the situation? Could it be that what happened to Su Yan? But the next second, the Hyperion directly activated the space transition and disappeared in place. Rumbling. All the artillery fire fell where the Hyperion had been. In an instant, the entire starry sky was ignited by these artillery fires. Seeing the Hyperion disappearing in place, a light flashed in Hai Wintian's eyes. Is this the power of SS-class ships? Short distance space jump? To do this, we must have a powerful space engine. Obviously, the space engine on the Hyperion is far more powerful than these ordinary ships. Is this the SS-class ship? Hai Wendian is now like seeing a child with a beloved toy. Afterwards, Hai Wendian also immediately instructed his crew to search for the current location of the Hyperion. However, the sky is empty on the radar. In the transition state, even the most advanced radar cannot detect the location of the Hyperion. Short jumps, how many times he can jump, I'm curious. Hai Wintian's eyes are full of longing, he wants to know where the limits of SS-class ships are. At this moment, the Hyperion reappeared in his field of vision. Appeared. Aim at the opponent's ship again. Hai Wintian wanted to see how many times he could dodge. Su Yan saw the guys from the second team and aimed at him again, and smiled lightly. 
DG next to her also looked indifferent, and did not take the second team in her eyes at all. She is not afraid of the concentrated fire of a thousand ships. The Hyperion with multiple transition functions is definitely the top assassin on the battlefield. The strength of an SS-class ship is not only reflected in the level. Although the Hyperion's firepower is not enough to annihilate an entire fleet, the firepower of those fleets should not touch her body at all. If the Spear of Adon is said to represent powerful firepower and defense, in addition to its single-unit firepower advantage, the Hyperion also has a terrifying terrifying mobility. The two ships have their own strengths, and each ship has its own advantages. At this moment, a new round of concentrated fire struck again. Start space jump. Brush. In the same scenario, the Hyperion disappeared in place. Countless artillery fire directly flooded the place where the Hyperion was. This is the second jump. Watching the Hyperion disappear again, Haiwenshing was also a little surprised. Don't all his short jumps need a cooldown? What a powerful space engine this is. Is this space engine a black technology left over from ancient times? But at this time, Hailees, who was watching the battle, also denied Hei Wingxing's idea. Su Yan has always been in the outer sea, and only recently stepped into the inner sea. How could he, who has been in the open sea, come into contact with ancient black technology? If it was really ancient black technology, those ancient empires would have been unable to sit still. Those who are selfish, don't allow anything to threaten their dominance, can't be an ancient black technology. When I saw him in the open sea, his ship already had the powerful function of short distance jumping. Most of the ancient black technologies in the outer seas have been recycled by the ancient empires. Even if there are residual ancient black technologies, do you think the ancient empires will give up recycling? After all, you and I know what those guys are. When he said this, Hai Wenqing also nodded and said nothing. The vision returned to the battlefield again, and the Hyperion had already made its fifth space jump. Hai Wendian and his crew couldn't help but change their expressions when they saw the Hyperion make the fifth jump. He jumped in space again, and we all had five rounds of focus. Is this the power of an SS-class ship? We didn't even touch its energy barrier. Hey, what should we do next? If his space warp function is infinite, aren't we wasting ammunition in vain? All the crew members looked at Hai Wendian, and Hai Wendian was also very horrified at the moment. Is this the power of SS-class ships? With this space warping function alone, even among thousands of troops, the Hyperion can retreat calmly without leaving a cloud. To be honest, Hai Wendian found that his flagship was an S-class ship. But compared with Su Yan's Hyperion, it's just a piece of shit. The S-class ship that I just received instantly felt a little unpleasant. Just when Hai Wendian was still thinking about how to deal with Su Yan if he became his enemy, Su Yan's voice sounded again in the communication channel. You have already carried out five rounds of concentrated fire attacks, and it is almost time for the exercise to end. If it goes on like this, if too much ammunition is wasted, it will be a waste on our side. But at this time, Hai Wendian was somewhat reluctant. The Hyperion's evasion ability is almost full, so isn't its firepower very weak? You know, a ship has strengths and weaknesses. In Hai Wentian's eyes, the Hyperion's evasion ability is so powerful, the sacrifice must be firepower. But Su Yan laughed after hearing this. If I fire, there will be casualties on your ships. Just forget it. But at this time, Hai Wendian also said confidently, Brother Su Yan, let me see the firepower of the Hyperion. If you're afraid of blowing up other ships, head for my flagship. My flagship is an S-class ship, and it has a high-level energy stance, and its defense is definitely strong. Other ships may not be able to withstand it, but I believe that my flagship will definitely be able to withstand it. Hai Wendian was still insisting, after Su Yan heard these words, he couldn't help but sigh. And after hearing these words, Hailees was also not calm. Silly boy. When I was in the Battle of Ingguang Star, I saw with my own eyes that Su Yan's Yamato cannon sank an S-class ship. Moreover, the current Hyperion is no longer the previous Hyperion. 
The cannon of the current Hyperion has long been changed to a more powerful V-shaped Yamato cannon. Not only that, but with the overload mode, the Hyperion becomes a war killer. Just when Hylis was about to stop her, Su Yen was the first to speak. I hope you can stop my attack. Brother Su Yen, you are totally welcome. Hai Wendian wanted to see what was the difference in the firepower of the SS-class ships. At this time, Su Yen was also standing on the bridge of the Hyperion. DG next to him also asked, Do you really want to use the V-shaped Yamato cannon to attack it? Of course, if this kid doesn't convince him, he probably won't give up easily. Everything goes according to plan, you have to be careful, if you do blow him up, it's an accident. Hearing Su Yan's questioning, DG also puffed up a little unhappy. Who is she? She is the mother of this ship, and controlling the artillery is just a matter of raising her hand for her. Unexpectedly, Su Yan did not believe him so much, and Su Yan also noticed DG's small temper and touched her head. I believe in your strength, but the V-shaped Yamato cannon is too powerful, and I'm afraid the opponent will be too weak. It's just an exercise after all, just be a little serious. If Hai Wendian heard Su Yan's words, he would probably be tempted to be competitive again. But Su Yan is telling the truth, he is very clear about the power of the V-shaped Yamato cannon. Activate the V-shaped Yamato cannon. Hai Wendian saw the Hyperion's main guns light up, and immediately ordered his crew to start defense. Give me all three of our energy shields. The defense of the ship is the highest for me, we can't lose to them. Just then, the Hyperion's main guns lit up. Seeing the main gun on the opposite side light up, Hai Wendian was also extremely excited, coming. All ready to meet. Boom. A beam of light containing enormous energy swiped directly from the side of the flagship. The next second, the entire ship suddenly began to shake violently. Red warning lights flooded the entire bridge. Immediately afterwards, the system beeps sounded one after another. Warning! The first energy barrier has been destroyed. Warning! The second energy barrier has been destroyed. Warning! The third energy barrier has been destroyed. Hai Wendian staggered and almost fell to the ground without standing still. What's the situation? In just an instant, the three-layer energy barrier of his flagship was completely destroyed? And, if I'm not mistaken, that beam just passed by his flagship. Without a doubt, Su Yen released water. But then, Hai Wendian felt a little bit of fear. If Su Yen hadn't released the water just now, the power of that energy beam alone would be enough to pierce his ship. Hiss. For a time, Hai Wendian felt a cold sweat on his back. I seem to have come back from the gate of hell. Is this the powerful strength of SS-class ships? At this time, Su Yan's voice sounded in the communication channel unhurriedly. The exercise is over, you should now understand the strength of the SS-class ships. I also have an SS-class ship if you want to continue the exercise. Before Su Yan could finish speaking, Hai Wendian also immediately said, there is no need to exercise, I have already understood the strength of SS-class ships, what are you kidding? The Hyperion's Yamato guns only passed by his flagship. In an instant, all three energy barriers of his ship were destroyed. If this is hit from the front, his flagship will not be able to be punched in the opposite direction? Is this the power of SS-class ships? Sure enough, the rumors were right. Ships are divided into four classes, SSS class, SS class, S class, and below S class. The gap between each level can be described as the difference between heaven and earth. He didn't believe it at first, but now that he saw Su Yan's Hyperion, he realized that this was not an alarmist. Not only him, but even the crew members under him, as well as the many members of the crazy shark pirates who were watching the battle, couldn't help but gasped. I read that right, the flagship of the 2nd Division is a S-Class ship. The opposite side was scratched with a single shot, and the three-layer energy shield disappeared immediately? Outrageous. Hey, I thought the gap between SS-Class ships and S-Class ships was not very big, but now it seems that the gap between the two is simply a sky and an underground. Is this the strength of SS-Class ships? 
today I have opened my eyes. Fortunately it is on our side, otherwise I really don't know how to face such a powerful ship on the battlefield. Most of the crew members felt fortunate when they heard this. Fine. Such a powerful ship is on their side. And High Wendian also secretly rejoiced, fortunately it was his own. Otherwise, if the shot just came down, I would definitely die. Recalling his previous thoughts, High Wendian also gave a wry smile. How daring do you have to think that SS-class ships are so weak? He far underestimated the strength of the Hyperion, and he also looked up to himself. Taking a breath, Hai Wendian and the others also ended the exercise. This exercise also greatly boosted the morale of the crew of many crazy shark pirates. You must know that the Longing Fleet under Su Yan's command will also participate in the battle. The Longing Fleet has two SS-class ships, and one of the SS-class ships is powerful enough. The combined combat power of the two SS-class ships is unimaginable. I didn't expect the strength of SS-class ships to be so powerful, what are we afraid of when SS-class ships are sitting here? Although the Brotherhood has more ships than us, most of their ships are just rubbish. Yes, we have three S-class ships on our side, and two SS-class ships, as far as I know the Brotherhood has only one S-class ship. 99. The high-end combat power is so much worse than ours, they are a wool. Speaking of this, the entire Crazy Shark Pirates group was filled with confident smiles. With such a high-end combat power in charge, how could they lose to the Brotherhood? And Hai Wendian returned to the surface of Poseidon once again after finishing the exercise. The night is also gradually falling, in order to entertain Su Yan, Hailes also specially arrested some seafood that belongs to Neptune to entertain him. Sitting on the deck of the Hyperion, Su Yan also looked up at the stars. It's hard to imagine that he is still eating, drinking and having fun here when the war is imminent. However, today Hylees and her three brothers and sisters have not seen each other for a long time. It's okay to take this opportunity to relax. Su Yen looked at the wine glass in his hand, which was made of a special creature called the wine snail. This kind of wine glass is very magical, as long as ordinary wine is poured into it, the aroma of the wine can be increased several times. Daekyang Singhai is full of wonders, and Su Yen is not surprised by such magical things. After drinking a glass of wine, Su Yen felt a little overwhelmed. With the sea breeze blowing, Su Yen also exhaled a breath of alcohol. At this time, Bai Ying suddenly appeared behind Su Yen. After appearing, Bai Ying did not speak. But Su Yen also knew very well that Bai Ying was afraid that she would be in danger when she was drunk, so she stood here to guard Su Yen. Don't worry about me, I'm a psionicist, I will use my psionic energy to clear the alcohol in my body if needed. Hailey's next to her didn't know whether it was the sea breeze or the effect of alcohol. Seeing Bai Ying standing beside Su Yen, she actually felt envious. Unfortunately, she is destined to belong to the mermaid race. She is the patriarch of the mermaid, and everything she does must be for the prosperity of the mermaid. This is her responsibility and her bondage. At this time, Hai Wenqing glanced at Hai Lizi and did not speak, but she knew very well that her sister was probably interested in this blue star human. But what about interesting? As the patriarch of the mermaid clan, unless the next clan leader is elected, she can only continue to fight for the mermaid clan. This is a responsibility, but it is not a curse. Haley's gloomily drank the wine in the glass. I'm a little drunk, so I'll go first. Speaking of which, Hylees also plunged into the seawater and returned to the Mermaid Imperial City. After Hylees left, Hai Wenqing and Hai Wendian also set their eyes on Su Yan. After the last exercise, Hai Wendian directly became Su Yan's little fanboy. After seeing Hylees leaving, Hai Wendian also came directly to Su Yan's side. Brother Su Yan. How long have you been in Shanghai? Seeing Hai Wendian sitting over, Su Yan also made room for him. When he heard this question, Su Yan also raised his head slightly and started to think. It must have been a few years. Hiss. Hai Wendian next to him sucked in a breath of cold air. He entered the inner sea in just a few years? It's not a loss to be the owner of an SS-class ship. 
It took such a short time to reach the Inland Sea. You know, the Inland Sea is full of crises. Some people need to spend decades, or even hundreds of years, in order to be ready to enter the Inland Sea. But Su Yen only spent a few years to accumulate such a powerful strength. When Hai Wendian heard this, he admired Su Yen even more. On the surface, Hei Wengxing was calm, but in reality he pricked up his ears. She was also very curious about what this man had experienced along the way. Perhaps also taking advantage of the drunkenness, Su Yen also wanted to tell Hai Wendian about his experience along the way. Departing from the solar system, he destroyed the laboratory of the Dark Elves and destroyed the Fallen Fleet. In the Battle of the Silver Light Galaxy, it was also where he and Hylis met. Next, fight the Zerg on the Financial Star and defeat the Zerg. Destroy the Iron Man's conspiracy in the Wasteland and retake the Sunset Gate. After that, it shines even more on Topaz Star, hunting the star-devouring Leviathan and destroying the Iron Man's plan. After hearing all kinds of experiences, Hai Wendian, who was next to him, was excited for a while. This is the experience that an interstellar voyager should have. Kill alien races, hunt alien beasts, and become famous. And Hai Wenqing listened to Su Yen recounting her experience, and unknowingly, she did not realize that her eyes were also on Su Yen. Until late at night, when Hai Wendian listened to Su Yan's experience, his blood boiled. However, Su Yen also felt a sense of drowsiness. It's getting late, we have to continue preparing for the battle tomorrow, it's time to go back to rest. Okay. Brother Su Yen, you have to rest well. Now Hai Wendian calls Su Yen, the eldest brother, more smoothly. Soon, Hai Wendian also left. Su Yen returned to the Hyperion, also preparing to rest. When he got up, he felt his body shaking. At this time, a soft body suddenly supported him. Thank you, Bai Ying. Bai Ying, behind Su Yen, did not speak, and then Bai Ying also sent Su Yen back to her lounge. Lin Qingyue also walked out when she heard the movement. When I saw Bai Ying came back with Su Yen, I was also a little surprised. You know, she has never seen Su Yen drunk like this. And Bai Ying was also a little curious when she saw Lin Qingyue. Why haven't you slept so late? Lin Qingyue raised the document in her hand and said, I'm reading the document, and I'll go to sleep after a while. The two worked together to lift Su Yan onto the boat, watching Su Yan sleeping soundly, Bai Ying and Lin Qingyue also looked at each other. Cough, I'm going back to the room first, I'm going on patrol. The two also quickly left Su Yan's room tacitly. As a Bai Yi clan and a psionicist, Bai Ying needs only a short sleep time every day. Therefore, most of the time, Bai Ying acts as a patrol officer on the ship. But now the Hyperion not only has a large number of guards, but even DG is constantly monitoring everything around the ship 24 hours a day. Basically, as long as there is no surprise attack from the enemy, the Hyperion will be in a very safe state. Baying also walked out of the Hyperion and stood on the deck. Baying also looked at the sea in the distance. At this moment, Baying felt a wave of spiritual energy. She turned around and saw Hai Wenqing appearing behind her. And Hai Wenqing also looked at Baying in front of him, his eyes narrowed slightly. She even discovered her moving in such a secret space, this guy is not easy. Baying looked at Hai Wenqing in front of her with no emotion in her eyes. She is not interested in anyone except Su Yen. What are you doing here? I'm coming to see you. See her? Hearing this sentence, Bai Ying was also a little puzzled. She thought Hai Wenqing was coming for Su Yen, but it didn't look like that. Generally, to understand a person, starting from the people around him is the most comprehensive way. I really want to know. What kind of charm does he have as a blue star human being that can make you a powerful psionicist to work for him? Don't question my judgment, as a space system psionicist, I am very sensitive to the outside world. You're definitely the most powerful psyker I've ever met, so I want to know, why did you stay with Su Yen? Facing Hai Wenqing's question, Bai Ying just looked at her. You want to know? Luz, if you're enjoying my content please consider donating a coffee. 
or checking out my shirts on Tee Public when the first rays of the sun rise at sea level in the morning. Su Yan also opened his eyes, and after activating the spiritual energy in his body, the tiredness in his body also dissipated. Sitting on the bed, Su Yan also frowned. I haven't been drunk in a long time. After the psychic activation, Su Yan also felt that his brain was awake. Afterwards, Su Yan also walked out of his room. When he walked out of the room, he found that he was the one who got up last. Lin Qingyue and Ling Bing had already left the Hyperion, and they were gathering information to mobilize the fleet in order to prepare for the battle. And Xiaoyu naturally went early in the morning to check what was wrong with the ships under the Longing Fleet. Although this incident is small, once there is a problem with the ship in the war, it is a very fatal thing. However, Xiaoyu, as a boatman, did her due diligence. The ships under the Longing Fleet have not had any problems so far. She has contributed greatly. Moreover, in addition to Su Yan, the three ship girls also have the highest favorability to Xiaoyu. As for Liddell, she usually takes care of the Tree of Life in the cultivation room. Even Su Yan rarely sees her. I heard that she has been very close to Lin Qingyue recently. At this moment, Baiying also appeared in the corridor. Zero Chi-Chi was still so elusive, and Su Yan glanced at her and smiled. Last night, I had a guest after I fell asleep? Speaking of this, Baiying did not change her face, and said very calmly, Miss Hai Wenqing has come here once. I chatted with her for a while. Haven Star? Hearing this name, Su Yan was also a little curious, she would actually look for Baiying, and he thought Baiying was looking for him for something important. Su Yan was a little curious about what the two of them were talking about. What did you talk to her about? Who knows, after saying this, Baiying was actually a little shy. Baiying also dodged her eyes and said hesitantly, don't ask about some girl's topics. Hearing this sentence, Su Yan also immediately understood. I didn't expect that Hai Wenqing and Baiying had such a good relationship, it seemed that he didn't usually notice the relationship between the two of them. Su Yan didn't continue to ask questions, since Baiying didn't want to say anything, he wouldn't continue to ask questions. At this moment, DG also appeared in the corridor, huh? Captain, are you awake? I'm going to wake you up. DG looked at Su Yan, who had woken up, with a little disappointment on her face. Seeing DG's disappointment, Su Yan also walked over and tapped her little head. What? Is there anything to report to me? At this time, when DG came to look for him, there must be something to tell him. At this time, DG also answered truthfully. Hi Wendian of the mermaid race is here, he should have something to tell you. I arranged for him to wait in the entertainment hall, thinking I'll tell you after I wake you up. Unexpectedly, you are already up. Hi Wendian is coming? Recalling yesterday, I boasted a lot of my glorious deeds in front of him. Thinking about it, Su Yan felt a little hot on her cheeks. Forget it, he must have something important to do when he comes to find him now. After all, in this matter, as the captain of the second unit of the Crazy Shark Pirates, he must have more important things to do. Now that I come to myself at this time, it is estimated that there is indeed something important to tell myself. When he came to the entertainment hall, he saw that Hai Wendian was addicted to video games and couldn't help himself. There are various electronic game equipment in the entertainment hall. In addition to Ling Bing's battle simulation here, Lin Qingyue also comes to relax from time to time. Unexpectedly, after Hai Wendian came here today, he was instantly addicted to the game. When Su Yan came over, he also saw that Hai Wendian was in full swing. And Hai Wendian saw Su Yan coming from the corner of his eyes, and quickly stood up. Brother Su Yan. You're up. Seeing Hai Wentian's excited face, Su Yan also smiled. How can I find anything? Now is the war preparation period, you must have something important to ask me at this time. Having said that, Hai Wentian's expression also became very solemn. That's right, the reason why Hai Wentian came to look for Su Yan this time is very simple. That was last night, and all the other units of the Crazy Shark Pirates returned. 
At this moment, tens of thousands of ships were all staying near Sea God. The dense fleet group, if anyone saw this scene at this time, the timid estimates, would directly kneel. The 10,000 ship scale Crazy Shark Pirates, coupled with the unparalleled name of the Crazy Shark Pirates, who wouldn't be afraid when they heard it. After listening to Hai Wintan's description, Su Yan was also a little curious. This is a good thing, all the fleets have returned, just in time to arrange tactics for them. No, it stands to reason that your kid should be coordinating those branch presidents now? If you don't manage the 10,000 ships of the Crazy Shark Pirates, what are you doing here with me? Although Hai Wentian was the captain of the second team, in fact, when Hylis was away, he could replace Hylis to lead the Shark Pirates. This right was never owned by Hai Wenqing of the first detachment. Because this guy Hai Wentian is a fighting maniac, but in a large-scale battle, his command can definitely reduce the loss of the fleet to a minimum. This is an advantage that Hylis is ashamed of. Facing Su Yan's question, Hai Wentian also smiled. Brother Su Yan, you are our top fighting force, how can we have a meeting if you don't come? Now Hai Wentian has completely regarded Su Yan as his eldest brother. It was originally an internal meeting of the Crazy Shark Pirates, but he took the initiative to invite Su Yan. Even if Su Yan didn't go, he wouldn't plan to hold this meeting. Hearing these words, Su Yan also smiled, this kid is a bit interesting. Okay, I'll follow you there. Su Yan also stood up, and at this time, Bai Ying consciously followed. And Hai Wendian didn't say anything and let Bai Ying follow Su Yan. They came all the way to the raging wave, and the meeting place this time was the bridge of the raging tide. At this moment, the sub-captains of the 1st to 10th teams were all here except Hai Wendian. Among them, the captain of the 3rd unit had a fierce look on his face and looked a little impatient. What's the matter? We're all here, who hasn't come? That's right, we've been waiting for an hour, where's the captain of the second team? I heard that at this meeting, there is also a captain named Longing Fleet participating? Really or not, is it my own? Isn't the small fleet we saw in space before his fleet? 99, speaking of which, the other sub-commanders also remembered that there was indeed a fleet in the space near Sea God. However, this fleet is far from Neptune, and they can only see that the number of ships in the fleet is not many. Compared with their 10,000 ships, those ships are not even enough to plug their teeth. But at this moment, Hylis, who was sitting in the main seat, spoke up. In front of these sub-captains, Hylis looked indifferent, and there was a trace of psionic coercion covering the audience. Now she is not the patriarch of the mermaid clan, nor the usual carefree Hylis. Now, she is the head of the Crazy Shark Pirates, and one of the ten heavenly kings of the inner sea. Shut up! Hylis burst out, and all the sub-commanders were nervous, but they didn't dare to say a word. Immediately afterwards, Hylis also said coldly, everyone here is the leader of the mermaid family. But I repeat, Mr. Su Yen is our merman savior. You laugh at him, you are laughing at the glory of our mermaid, I suggest you check the information. If any of you here is stronger than Su Yan, I can do it for him in my position. As soon as these words came out, many of the sub-commanders below also murmured in their hearts. This guy, Su Yan, doesn't seem to have a simple identity. At this time, Hai Wendian also walked in. Brother Su Yan, this is it. Brother Su Yan? Hearing Hai Wentian's address to Su Yan, the expressions of many squad leaders also changed. You heard it right. Hai Wendian, the captain of the second division, actually called a blue star human as big brother? This is simply a fantasy. Even if he is the savior of the mermaid, he should not be so humble. Su Yan, you can do it next to me. At this time, Hailis also spoke. Um? Many squad leaders also couldn't help but look at Hailis, what sound did they just hear? Why was Hailis' voice so feminine just now? So gentle? 2.6, usually Hailis always scolds them, when did she have such a face? Good guy. They have been with Hailis for so many years, and for the first time they know that their head has two faces. I can just find a spot anywhere. After all, Su Yen also saw an empty seat and sat directly over. 
Sitting next to Su Yan is a seemingly weak mermaid girl. Su Yan was a little curious, this guy looked completely different from the vicious guys next to him. This guy is also one of the sub-captains of the crazy shark pirates? Seeing that Su Yan was seated, Hailees didn't say anything else. At this time, Hai Wendian also sat in his own seat. When he returned to his seat, it also heralded the official start of the meeting. Everyone, you must have received the news of the assembly order. That's right, we're going to fight the Orc Brotherhood. The president of the Brotherhood once stole the treasure of our merfolk, the core of the ocean. Almost killed our merfolk newborn in the cradle. This matter, we can't swallow it. After listening to these words, the anger of many sub-commanders also surged. Fraternity bastards would do such a thing when they weren't around. If the Mermaid Imperial City collapses this time, their mermaid clan will definitely suffer greatly. Without a newborn, they have no new population to fight. Once a race loses its competitiveness in the inner sea, it will be targeted by other races, thus being eroded step by step. The mermaid is not a powerful hidden race like the starry sky dragon or the elves. In order to survive in this inland sea, they have to keep swimming like sharks in order to survive. Hylees raised her hand, and also signaled the many squad leaders to calm down. Since the war has been announced, the team leaders must also participate in it to defend the glory of our mermaid. Next, we need to consider the location of the battle, and Star Haven will tell you what location is good for us. War is about the right time and place, and the same is true of fighting in the Sea of Stars. The space stability range of an area is 31 degrees, and the number of asteroid bunkers can determine the outcome of a battle. As for the control of terrain, no one understands it better than Haiwen Xing. She is familiar with the geography of Xinghai, and she is also an extremely skilled navigator. In addition, she is a space system psionicist, and her perception of space has reached the level of perfection. It is undoubtedly the most suitable for her to designate the battlefield planning for this battle. As long as they can lead the Brotherhood fleet to their designated battlefield, then they have a geographical advantage. Then the issue of the distribution of troops will be handed over to Hai Wendian, you have no opinion. Many sub-commanders also shook their heads. How dare they have an opinion? These squad leaders were well aware of Hai Wendian's disposition. The captain of the previous 10th team was directly beheaded by Hai Wendian because of blatantly provoking Hai Wendian. But it has to be said that although Hai Wendian was brutal, the tactics he designated had never gone wrong. Although his personality is chilling, many squad leaders respect him very much. He has the means and the ability. So many sub-commanders have to obey. Hai Wendian glanced at everyone and also revealed a smile. But this smile fell in the eyes of many squad leaders, but it was like a devil's smile. Based on the number of the Brotherhood's fleet, I'm also considering it. If we continue to divide the division according to ours, there will be no chance of winning against the ships of the Brotherhood. So, I'm going to reshuffle our ships and divide them into three main teams. These three main teams will be in charge of three battlefields and face off against the Brotherhood. Just as Hai Wendian finished saying these words, some sub-commanders started asking questions. If we want to divide three main teams, how do we divide the ten teams here? Faced with this question, Hai Wendian also answered with confidence. The three main teams, the second team, the fourth team, and the sixth team are under my command. The first team, the third team, and the fifth team are the second main team. Then there is the home team, plus the seventh, eighth, and ninth teams, as the third main team. After hearing that the subunits under his command were divided, many subcommanders had no opinion. Among the crazy shark pirates, Hai Wenqing and Hai Wentian's abilities were unquestionably powerful. The two of them served as the captains of the other two home teams, both in terms of strength and prestige, enough to convince the crowd. And at this time, a somewhat cowardly voice also sounded. Hi. Lord Hai Wendian, I, what should I do? When this voice sounded, everyone also looked at the weak girl next to Su Yen. The mermaid girl was also a little flustered when she saw that everyone's eyes were turning towards her. Looking at the mermaid girl in front of him, Hai Wendian also looked at Hai Wenxing. For nothing else, because this mermaid girl is Hai Wenxing's apprentice. 
In other words, she is also a space system psionicist and a navigator. However, her character is a big problem. Timid, kind, and soft-hearted. Such a character is a sin among the Mad Shark Pirates. Therefore, the tenth team led by her can be said to be the fleet with the smallest number of fleets and the weakest combat capability. If it wasn't for her to speak, Hai Wendian would really not have noticed her existence. Let you lead the tenth team, but you haven't succeeded in plundering once in all these years. You have to know that you are leading a fleet, you don't plunder other people's resources, you consume the resources of the mermaid. Hainuer, you are not suitable to be a leader, starting today, you will no longer be the captain of the tenth team. As soon as these words came out, there was an uproar in the audience. Hainuer's eyes widened, she did not expect these words to come from the mouth of her most respected master. And Hai Wendian glanced at Hai Wenxing, since she had said so, it was hard for him to disagree. The tenth team is so weak, and it has a lot to do with her team leader. In this case, the tenth team will be divided into other teams in the future. As soon as these words came out, it was almost announcing the end of the tenth team. Hainuer gritted her teeth and lowered her head unwillingly. Su Yen, 077, who was next to him, looked at the weak girl and said lightly, They are right, you are not suitable to be a leader. 5. In this sea of stars, kindness will not only harm yourself, but also others. Pirates, you don't plunder other people's resources, you consume your own resources of the mermaid. 39. In the inner sea, if you don't fight or rob, then you can only perish in Wenru Township. Hainuer glanced at Su Yen, tears flashing in her eyes. But even so, she still held back her tears and did not let it fall. Seeing this funny scene in front of him, Su Yen almost couldn't help laughing. At this time, Hai Wendian looked at Su Yen with a very kind smile on his face. Let the surrounding squad leaders look at it, and I can't help but get goosebumps. Brother Su Yen, the number of ships in your Longing fleet is relatively small. You can draw some ships from our fleet at that time. 5. In this way, you can form a new guerrilla unit that will facilitate your operations on the battlefield. The Longing fleet under Su Yen was like a sharp knife, but this sharp knife was not something that Hai Wendian could control. He knows very well that the damage can only be maximized by letting Su Yen move freely. Su Yan's record is much better than his, and his combat experience is even stronger than his. How about letting yourself direct Su Yen? In terms of strength, the Longing fleet under Su Yen has two SS-class ships. In terms of qualifications, he is his eldest brother, and he has a close relationship with his elder sister, Harry's. In terms of record, not to mention, when Su Yen stepped on the Zerg and slaughtered the Iron Man, he didn't know where to rob the cargo ship. No matter what aspect, he is not qualified to direct Su Yen. Moreover, Haley's also said, give Su Yen enough fleets to let him act according to his own wishes. In doing so, he will play a greater role. After all, there is a fleet of SS-class ships roaming around the battlefield. Even if you don't do it, just its existence is enough to make people feel a sense of oppression. In the face of Hai Wintian's question, Su Yen looked at Hainuer, who was bowing his head silently, and smiled. If you want me to pick some people, give me this tenth team. 35. What? As soon as these words came out, there was an uproar in the audience. Even Hainuer from the tenth team looked at Su Yen in disbelief. And Su Yen is very calm, anyway, the tenth team will be disbanded. I just need a fleet as my temporary fleet right now, isn't it just a ready-made one? If it is a part of the ships drawn from other fleets, it will be your own fleet. To be honest, Su Yen still has to worry about how to coordinate these fleets. Thinking of this, Su Yen also felt a headache. If it is the tenth team, there should be no need to worry about cooperation. After all, although they are the weakest detachment, combat cooperation should not be a problem. Brother Su Yen, do you really want to choose the tenth team? Originally, the tenth team was going to be disbanded. If you recruit people from our various fleets, the quality will definitely be much better than the tenth team. The tenth team has too little combat experience, and it is very likely to hold you back at that time. When talking about this, Hai Wendian also expressed it very clearly. He was afraid that the 10th team would drag Su Yen back. 
If Su Yan's Longing fleet fell into the hands of the Brotherhood, the consequences would be unimaginable. But this time, Hainuer stood up. Second Captain, please give me another chance, I will definitely try my best to cooperate with Mr. Su Yan. Hainuer knows that this time is the only chance for her to prove herself. If she doesn't seize this opportunity this time, she will never be able to lift her head up among the Mad Shark Pirates. For a time, everyone's eyes also fell on Hainuer. Hainuer also once again became the focus of the audience. At this time, Hai Wendian also looked at Hai Wenqing next to him. The meaning is already very simple, this is your apprentice, you persuade yourself. But at this time, Hai Wenqing sat there with his eyes closed and didn't say anything. After all, Hai Wenqing is the only apprentice of Hai Nua Er, and she may not be suitable to be a leader. However, if she can assist Su Yan in this battle to win, perhaps this will be a good ending. Hai Wenqing decided to give her a chance, a chance to prove herself. At this time, Hai Lise, who had been sitting in the main seat, also spoke up. Since Mr. Su Yan has spoken, the 10th team will be led by Su Yan. Hearing this sentence, Hai Wendian also sighed, now that Hai Lise has already spoken, no matter how much she opposes it, it will have no effect. As a result, the 10th team under Hai Nuer was also assigned to Su Yan's subordinate. It is temporarily led by Su Yan, and Hai Nuer is the vice-captain, assisting Su Yan to control the 10th team. Next, there is the issue of the time and location of the decisive battle. The Brotherhood could come over at any time. As the smaller party, the most suitable tactic was defense. Therefore, they can control the geographical advantage in their own hands. I have already surveyed other galaxies around Neptune. Among them, the Menguan galaxy is expected to form a subspace storm in a month. The space there is extremely unstable, and if the ship jumps into this galaxy rashly, it will suffer huge losses. And the Red Galaxy has recently experienced a stellar explosion, and there are many asteroid bunkers, which are very suitable for combat. Heiwengsing also surveyed the many galaxies around Neptune and found a few suitable galaxies. Several galaxies that can lead to Poseidon have already been set up by them. As long as the Brotherhood arrives, their outpost will surely be discovered. Now, it's time to prepare. The Brotherhood may call at any time. After the meeting, Hylies and others also began to reorganize the fleet. And Su Yan glanced at Hainuer next to him. Coincidentally, Hainuer was also looking at him at this time. When the two looked at each other, Hainuer also quickly avoided. Seeing this, Su Yan also smiled. Afterwards, Su Yan also stepped out of the Furious Sea. Before he was ready to return to the Hyperion, a familiar voice sounded in his mind. Ding, check in location detected, Neptune. Did you trigger the sign in again? Sign up. Ding, the sign in is successful, congratulations on getting, limited time army expansion card, special viking, archangel, high level invisible position blueprint. After signing in successfully, you will receive three rewards. Advanced Stealth Stance Blueprint, which can make the ship invisible after use. However, this stealth state will disappear when the ship launches an attack. But I have to say, this is still a good technology. Su Yan also directly sent the blueprint of the advanced invisible position to the mechanical priests. This technique is very important. If you can equip the Longin, Zhao Zhao, fleet, the Longin fleet can be elusive. Then, there is the second reward. Special Viking, Archangel. This Viking fighter is very famous. Compared with other Viking fighters, its size is larger and its combat performance is more powerful. The only pity for Su Yan is that there is only one Archangel for this special Viking. Afterwards, it would take a lot of time if the mechanical priests were to be researched and then replicated and mass-produced. At that time, it will definitely not be able to catch up with this battle. However, the appearance of the special Viking also symbolized that the Viking fighters who had been neglected by him were finally going to stand up. Finally, Su Yan set his sights on the limited time expansion card. It was the first time he saw this kind of sign-in reward, a card? What can be useful? 
However, when Su Yan saw the effect of this limited time military expansion card, he couldn't help but take a deep breath. The system produced must be a high quality product, this sentence is really good. Looking at the limited time expansion card in his hand, Su Yan also showed a smile. A limited time expansion card. After using it, within 7 days, the more Su Yan destroys enemy ships, the more points he will get. And these points can be used to summon your own troops or ships. That is to say, as long as Su Yan destroys the opponent's ship, he can get points and summon any ship under his command. This limited time army expansion card comes at the right time, and the next thing I have to face is the Brotherhood fleet with 20,000 ships. 20,000 ships, if they can all be destroyed. The number of ships under Su Yan can at least double. Putting away this limited time expansion card, Su Yan also showed a smile. This limited time military expansion card is really timely, and the sign-in system really gave me a good thing this time. When Su Yan was still happy for the sign-in reward, Hang Yuer also came out. Thank you, Mr. Su Yan. At this time, Hang Yuer is also very clear. If it wasn't for Su Yan, their 10th team would have been disbanded by this time. But Su Yan also waved his hand, instead of having such a kung fu, it is better to inform your subordinates and prepare to merge with our Longing 077 fleet. Luo, clear. At this time, Hang Yuer is also very clear whether he can turn around and watch this battle. Back in the Hyperion, Su Yan also thought that Hang Yuer was coming to the 10th team. The 10th team has a total fleet size of 560 ships. 50 ships are A-class ships, 100 ships are B-class ships, 200 ships are C-class ships, and the rest are D-class or E-class ships. Su Yan has no interest in these ships, in a true battle of 10,000 ships. Ships below Class C e can only serve as cannon fodder, and only ships above Class B can be called main ships. The number of ships in the 10th team is said to be more than 500 ships. But only 150 ships were actually available. Su Yan also touched his chin and continued to check the information of the 10th team. The 10th team has looted zero planets, 20 ships, and zero chambers of commerce over the years. During this time, they consumed a total of 300 million units of energy. In total, there are about billions of star coins consumed. Seeing this, Su Yan couldn't help but be speechless. Co-authored, the 10th team not only did not bring any benefits to the Shark Pirates over the years. Instead, the Crazy Shark Pirates group posted billions of star coins. What a kind-hearted fleet, it is estimated that if it were not for Hei Wengxing's face, this 10th team would not have survived until now. Su Yan took a look and decided to go to the 10th team. Coming to the flagship of the 10th team, as soon as Su Yan stepped into the ship, he felt the smell of alcohol permeating. Su Yan also frowned slightly when he smelled the smell. To be able to smell this smell in the ship, how much did they drink? Su Yan went straight to the bridge, but no one stopped him. Not only that, Su Yan also saw many crew members lazily in the corridor. When I came to the bridge, I saw that Hang Yuer was very busy there. Everyone, if we don't seize the opportunity this time, it's over. Everyone doesn't want the 10th team to disband. But did the crew under his command listen to him? Even a few crew members were a little drunk. Captain, are you still unclear? Our 10th team can't support the wall with mud, so it would be better to disband as soon as possible. That's right, we meet other fleets and we can't even bring our heads up, so it's fine for such fleets to be disbanded as soon as possible. Our 10th fleet has worked for so many years, and our performance is not even a fraction of other fleets. It's better to disband as soon as possible, what's that guy called Su Yan doing? At this moment, Su Yan's voice also rang out. Is this the 10th team? What a great insight. As soon as these words came out, Han Nuar also found out that Su Yan was here. And several alcoholic crew members around also saw Su Yan, and then came over drunk. Blue Star Human? What are you? Want us to come under your command? Oh, you are also worthy of. Boom. As soon as the words fell, the drunkards suddenly felt their bodies sink. With a thud, the alcoholic crew members all fell to the ground. 
Su Yen glanced at them and raised the bolt gun in his hand. Bang! 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 A few shots were fired, and all the crew members turned their attention to him in an instant. And the drunkards who fell on the ground broke out in cold sweat when they looked at the bullet holes so close at hand, and even their drunkenness was scared away by the sound of gunfire. Su Yen glanced at the many crew members, and Heng Yuer also rubbed her hands nervously. It seems that Hai Wendian is right, you are not suitable to be a leader. You are too kind and too weak. Snapped. Su Yen stepped on the head of one of the crew members, and the voice containing psychic energy spread throughout the ship. You drunkards, you guys, who can't support the wall with mud. I order you to line up in front of me within a minute. If I don't find anyone coming over after a while, I'll give you a taste of what is called the extreme cold of Shanghai. As soon as these words came out, the entire bridge began to be in chaos. All the crew members on the bridge also broke out in cold sweat behind their backs, and a few alcoholics also sobered up instantly. Because they know, this guy plays for Real. The decisiveness with which he shot just now, they can be sure that if they don't do the same, he might throw them out and turn them into ice sculptures. Sure enough, in less than a minute, these pirates rolled and crawled in front of him. Su Yan looked at the crew in front of him and sneered. Then, he opened the technical watch. Ling Bing, take all the Thunder Warriors and Space Marines and send them to other ships. I need all ships to be added to the communication channel within an hour. Within an hour, no matter what means, it's time to let these guys who can't support the wall know one thing. The tenth team has been replaced. As soon as these words came out, the many crew members in front of Su Yen were also nervous. Ruined. This guy looks more like a pirate than they are. And Heng Yuer looked at Su Yan's face, her heart was beating fast. Sure enough, he is not fit to be a leader. No matter how much I persuade these crew members, these crew members do not listen to their own words. But when Su Yen came, it took just a few shots to pack these guys into obedience. Report to the second captain. There seems to be some situation in the tenth team. A member of the Crazy Shark Pirate Squad also hurried to Hai Wentian's side. Hearing this sentence, Hai Wentian also frowned slightly. What's wrong with the tenth team? It should be Su Yen, taking over the tenth team now. Could it be that those guys in the tenth team disobeyed the discipline and resisted Su Yan's command? If that's the case, these guys from the tenth team are really a bunch of black sheep. Infighting in the pre-war period is something that no faction can accept. Thinking of this, Hai Wentian's expression also became somewhat unpleasant. What the hell is going on with those guys from the tenth team? Hai Wendian snorted coldly and knew that those guys were a bunch of mud that couldn't support the wall. If I had known, they should have been disbanded earlier. But at this time, the crew member looked at Hai Wentian's indignant expression and also turned on the communication channel strangely. Second Captain, why don't you listen to the news from the tenth team first? Um? At this moment, Su Yan's voice came out from the communication channel. Oh, hold me still, if anyone dares to move, I will shoot him to the west. TSK, 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 you are also members of the Heavenly King Level Force Crazy Shark Pirates, how come your physical fitness is like a weak chicken? It's the pre-war stage, and I don't have much time to mess with you guys. If you can persevere, persevere, if you can't persevere, get out of here. Is this Su Yan's voice? Hai Wendian was naturally all too familiar with Su Yan's voice, and that member also looked strange, and then began to report the situation of the 10th team. Since yesterday, Mr. Su Yan has sent his men to various ships to conduct devil training on the members of the 10th team. Many people were eliminated, and those who were eliminated were directly expelled from the shark pirates by Mr. Su Yan. Of course, some of them were disobedient, but they were all resolved by Mr. Su Yan. So-called settlement is a euphemism. Su Yen sent a thunder warrior to every ship. Those thunder warriors don't have such a good temper. If they rashly resist these thunder warriors, the fate of them can be imagined. For a time, the entire tenth team fell into chaos. But in just half a day, the entire tenth team was docilely organized by Su Yen. As long as a thunder warrior landed on a ship, 
he can easily suppress all the crew of a ship. Now the tenth team is a bunch of trash hollowed out by wine. In the face of the Thunder Warriors, they have no power to fight back at all. After listening to the crew's report, Hai Wendian also frowned slightly. Unexpectedly, Su Yan has such courage. Now the tenth team alone has more than 100 people who have been dealt with. Under this operation, those tenth teams were also driven by fear, and they continued to train their physical fitness according to Su Yan's way. It's not bad brother Su Yan, he's more ruthless than me. 39. At least I can't think of a way to bring the tenth team back to life. Pass my order and give Su Yan the authority of the tenth team, everything he did to the tenth team is reasonable. If anyone doesn't agree, let him come to me. After hearing these words, the members of the Crazy Shark Pirates also widened their eyes. It seemed that Hai Wendian had acquiesced to Su Yan's behavior, those guys in the tenth team are probably going to be out of luck. At this moment, in the flagship of the tenth team, many crew members were dripping with sweat, lying on the ground like a dead fish. Looking at the tossed crew members in front of him, there was no emotion in Su Yan's eyes. If he had time, he might have a good reason to influence these crew members to come back. But now, they don't have time. It may be a month, it may be a week, the fraternity may call at any time. He must train the 10th Corps into a combat-capable fleet before the Brotherhood can come. Thinking of this, Su Yan's eyes became even colder. Get up for me, where did you go? Are you tired? Boom. As soon as a gunshot rang out, many of the crew members jumped to their feet immediately. They knew very well that Su Yan's gun was definitely not a decoration. During the training, one of the crew members could not bear to rant to Su Yan. In the next second, he was directly shot by Su Yan, and then thrown out of the ship, without a place to be buried. Su Yan also said that if you don't want to continue training, it's very simple, go back to Neptune now and be a fisherman for a lifetime. But these crews knew better that if this time backed off, they would return to Neptune as fishermen. They won't be able to keep their heads up for the rest of their lives. For the mermaid, it is an honor to enter the pirate group of mad sharks to fight for the mermaid. But now that they've been expelled back to Poseidon, what will others think? Instead of living in shame all your life, it is better to fall on the battlefield with vigor and vigor. This sentence also aroused the blood in the tenth team's crew. On the other hand, the ships of the Brotherhood were also integrated. The densely packed ship started the transition at the same time, and in an instant, the entire galaxy was flooded with the streamer of space transition. The war is about to begin. The whole inland sea also began to boil. This is a duel between two heavenly king-level forces, and the outcome of either side will affect the entire star sea pattern. On the other hand, Hai Wendian also received news of the Brotherhood's fleet, and he immediately passed the news to Hailees. Sister, the fraternity guys, have already started. According to their space transition speed, they only need three days to reach the Shanghai outpost we set up. Hailees, who received this news, also narrowed her eyes slightly. Is it finally time to start? Hailees's eyes also lit up with fighting intent, and at this moment, Hailees also thought of Su Yan. How's the situation on Su Yan's side? Hearing this sentence, Hai Wendian also frowned slightly. Because of the news he received, the scale of the 10th team's ships was reduced from the original 500 ships to the current 400 ships. The original crew was cut in half. This made Hai Wendian very worried, the original 10th team was already very weak. Now that Su Yan is so streamlined, the 10th team is even weaker. But in the face of Hai Wentian's question, Su Yan's answer did not have the slightest problem. Don't worry, the transformation of the 10th team will surprise you. 35 losses. Thank you for watching Mystic Realms Recap. Please like share and subscribe. Have a great day.